Alright, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over Facebook ads retargeting. So it's going to be our Facebook ads retargeting tutorial, how you create audiences and target them for, through Facebook, um, and how you build audiences based on your website traffic, in addition to some other options that you have through Facebook. So to get started, we're in Facebook Ads Manager here. You're going to have to open your Ads Manager for Facebook, uh, obviously to get started with running ads. Um, if you're not familiar with setting up everything with Facebook, they have plenty of guides on their website. Just go to, you know, how do I set up Facebook Ads Manager or how do I set up a Facebook Business Manager? We actually use Facebook Business Manager. I'd highly recommend using it. It's a great way to manage everything. Um, but we've already have everything set up and we're not going to set up another one right now for the tutorial. So uh, you come into Ads Manager here and what you need to do first is put the Facebook pixel on your website. So we have our website here. We're going to be targeting for beachfrontdecor.com. Um, and what you want to do is under Ads Manager, you want to click on you know this drop down menu here. It's going to show frequently used. You want to come over to Measure and Report. Uh, under Events Manager, you're going to see Pixels. So you want to click on Pixels. Um, that way you can create a pixel and add it to your website. We already have it on our website. We actually have a tutorial on our channel for this. So if you're not familiar with how to do it, uh, we have a tutorial for how to add a Facebook pixel to a WordPress website. Um, so check out that tutorial. We'll have it linked in the description of this video as well in case you're not sure how to do that. Uh, but the pixel, what it does is it actually tracks everything on the website. So one of the cool things you can do is if you're not sure if your pixel's on your website, um, Facebook will start receiving activity through your pixel. But if you're not sure, you could actually download this Chrome plugin here. Uh, it's called Facebook Pixel Helper. So you can see here it says three. Uh, so the three represents that there is one Facebook pixel on there and it's tracking three different events. Um, so just to kind of show a different example, if I come back to Facebook, uh, really any page in Facebook. So I come back to Facebook Ads Manager up here. So it's gonna, if I click on Facebook Pixel Helper, again, this is a Chrome plugin for free. Uh, it's going to say no pixels found on business.facebook.com. They probably just have a regular, they probably just have analytics set up on the website, different uh, softwares like that. But um, so once you have your Facebook pixel on your website, then you can start actually creating audiences because the Facebook pixel will monitor everyone that goes to your website and add them as an option for you to target through Facebook. So let's say you have... Uh, you drive 100 people to your website and 70 of them have Facebook profiles that they use regularly. Facebook's able to track those people as they visit your website and then they go back on Facebook. Um, so you could actually target them. So that's kind of how retargeting works through Facebook. Uh, a bunch of websites have Facebook pixels on them. Probably basically every website you visit has a Facebook pixel on it, I'd imagine. I'd say 99%. Um, and when people come back to Facebook, you can actually build audiences based on the pages they visit or some of the things they do if you complete a sale. So it's able to track pretty much everything through that pixel. Um, so you have that on your website now. So now what you have to do is build actual audiences. Um, so what we're going to do is build two audiences here. So I want to do retargeting to everybody who's visited Beachfront Decor over the last 10 days. So what I'm going to do here is we come, if you're in Ads Manager, you want to click on the drop down menu again. Um, and under Assets and Audiences. So this is where you want to go next. So we're going to come into our audiences here um, and click on Create Audience. And we're going to do a custom audience. So really any of these options here, customer file, website traffic, app activity, offline activity and engagement could be used for retargeting because it's, let's say someone engages with something, you're retargeting them with ads. If someone goes to your store and buys something and you're able to track them, you're able to retarget them with your ads. If someone goes on your mobile app and, you know, does an activity or just launches it or just plays a game or something like that, you can retarget them with ads. In addition to if you upload a customer file here, like an email list or something like that, or even like a if you're an e-commerce website, you can upload, you know, customer data like that from people who have bought from you. So these are all options for retargeting. You don't have to use the Facebook pixel method. Um, that's kind of what we're going to focus on. But website traffic, so it's saying create a list of people who visited your website or took specific actions using Facebook pixel. So we have our Facebook pixel on our website. Obviously, it's going to say you need to have your pixel here. So this is where they're building the audience off of. So that was the first step, obviously. It's going to say include people who meet any of the following criteria. So we want to click on this drop down and do people who visited specific web pages. Um, so you can add anything here. Let's say I just want to target people who have bit visited, you know, beachfrontdecor.com slash betting. Let's say I just want to target people who visited pages that contain that. You could do that, but what I want to do is anybody that's visited beachfrontdecor.com. And I want to do in the past 10 days, let's target people who have been there almost within a little bit over a week. So 10 days, anybody who's visited beachfront decor. Uh, so now under your audience name, you just want something that you're going to remember. So if I do beachfront decor, all users, 10 days. Okay. And we're going to do create audience. 
Okay, so it's going to say your custom audiences are created. It's going to say it might take a few minutes for us to finish matching your customers to people on Facebook. So it might take a little while. But for us, since we already have everything there, it's just going to populate. It should be ready to use. I mean, you can use it right away. It should be populated pretty quickly because we've had our Facebook pixel on our website already. Uh, so now we have our new custom audience here, Beachfront Decor, all users, 10 days. My goal, what I want to do is send people to my website, beachfrontdecor.com, and specifically I want to send them to this giveaway page. So they come in here, February 2018 giveaway. So we run a monthly giveaway. If you're on our email list, you're part of the giveaway. Um, so anybody who visits this page and fills out the form, their email address, they're going to be redirected to this thank you page. So what I want to do since I'm doing retargeting is build this thank you page as a separate audience so that I can actually exclude them from my campaign because once someone comes in and converts through my giveaway page, there's really no reason to make it to continue to target them with ads if they've already converted because they've already filled out, you know, the exact goal that I want them to do. You can do the same thing if you're trying to drive sales. Let's say you're trying to, you know, sell a new running sneaker and you get someone to buy it. Once they buy that running sneaker, they're probably not going to buy another running sneaker. You can exclude them. Even if you exclude them for two months or something, you can exclude people from your audiences. So you're, you're not continuously targeting them even after they've completed the goal that you want them to complete. So we're going to do create audience here, and we're going to do another custom audience, website traffic again. And we're going to do Surfside PPC pixels, and we're going to do people who visited specific web pages. URL contains beachfrontdecor.com slash thank you. So anyone who's visited this web page, and let's see, the maximum time is 180, so we'll do in the past 180 days. So if you've, if you've completed this conversion, I do not want to target you anymore. Okay, so what we're going to do is call the audience name actually exclude, and then people who converted. Because I really don't want to target these people with ads after they've converted, and I don't even want to send them a follow-up offer. Now, you can send them a follow-up offer, maybe someone joins my email list, but I can just email them now. So why would I send them a Facebook ad right now? I could just add them to my email list, and if I want to target them, I could target my email list uh, through Facebook ads. So what I want to do is just exclude people who converted. It's a good way to make sure that I'm not targeting this audience too much, and these people have also shown an interest in what I'm offering, so I don't want to annoy them right away um, and keep targeting them with ads and things like that. So I'll do exclude people who have converted giveaway. Click create audience. Okay, so now my custom audience is created. So we have our beachfront decor all users for 10 days and our ex the audience that I want to exclude, people who have converted already. I don't want to keep targeting them. So we come back into Ads Manager here. Um, and now we have our audience created, Facebook Pixel set up. Um, we have our custom conversion set up here. So BFD newsletter signups. Basically, anytime someone hits this thank you page, it counts as a BFD newsletter signup, a.k.a. you know a giveaway signup. So if you want to find that, what you want to do is click on the drop-down menu again from Ads Manager, come down to Custom Conversions, and that's where we are now. So our custom conversion is BFD Newsletter Signups. Every time someone hits this thank you page, it's going to count as a conversion because that's where our form redirects. So next thing we're going to do is set up a campaign. I'm just going to show you how to target. Um, so we're not going to go through ad creation and that whole process. I really just want to show you how to target the audience in here. So you might already know how to do this um, if you've created campaigns before. But we're just going to click on Create Campaign. Um, so it's going to be What's Your Marketing Objective? So I'm trying to drive conversions. Um, so campaign name, what we're going to do, I just like to do something that I'll remember. So I'll do Beachfront Decor, and we'll do All Users. OK, we'll click Continue. Okay, so now we're just creating an ad set. What you would want to do is create multiple ad sets. You can test different audiences against each other. So maybe you want to do the same, you know, maybe you want to do beachfront decor all users for 10 days in addition to anybody who is engaged on Instagram over the last 365 days in addition to, you know, our all users website traffic audience for 30 days. And then you could also target, you know, like an email list or try a lookalike audience. So you want to test these things against each other. Um, for this, I'm just going to show you my simple uh, one ad set and we're not going to go through the ads creation and all that but you obviously want to create multiple ads create visual ads but I really just want to show you how to target um, for remarketing audience so our, all, our ad set name I like to create ad sets of what I'm targeting so we'll keep it beach front decor all users 10 day Okay, so now I'm targeting anyone who's visited Beachfront Decor over the last 10 days um, website. So now here's where our custom conversion comes in, our BFD newsletter signups. This is what we're optimizing for. Um, so now here's where it's important. So now audience. So what we want to do is add a custom audience here. So that's why it's important to you know create the two custom audiences that we did. Uh, so we want to target Beachfront Decor all users 10 days. And what we want to do is click on exclude here. So we want to include people who are in this audience and exclude people who have already converted. 
So that's basically how we set up all of our remarketing campaigns. You don't want to keep targeting people who have converted already, um, especially with a retargeting offer that's you know specific for that offer. Uh, so once someone fills it out, you want to remove them from your campaign. So anybody who's filled out a conversion, it doesn't even matter if they do it through Facebook. It's just anybody who's filled out a conversion um, is going to be removed from our audience. Um, and then anyone who's visited our website is who we're going to be targeting. So then you would just go through the rest of it. Um, you can leave it wide open. You could actually narrow it down. Maybe I just want to target all users, you know, women, I don't know, 40 and up. So maybe I just want to do that. You can keep narrowing things down if you want. And ultimately with Facebook, you have to test to find the best, uh, you know, the best options for your business to, to drive sales, to drive leads, however you want to do it. So if you have any questions about retargeting, um, this, is how, this is how we do it. Um, you go on your website, you add a Facebook pixel. Uh, you come into the asset library uh, where you manage all of your audiences. You create audiences that you want to target. Um, and then you go in, you create a new campaign. Uh, however you want to create your campaign objective, you could actually create you know, video campaigns where you're retargeting. You can create app campaigns where you're retargeting. So you're not limited to just you know a website conversion campaign or a website traffic campaign. Um, but this is really how we set up a lot of them. So website conversion campaign, targeting the user, excluding people who converted. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching our video today, and uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel.